Hello students, I hope you have gone through my last video in which I mentioned to you what is goodwill. That is a very important video which I have presented explaining you the concepts of goodwill. Today I am going to explain you how the value of goodwill is calculated. Be very clear in your minds. We can never calculate an exact value of goodwill. Never. Because goodwill is an intangible asset. It is based on factors like location, efficiency of management, personality of the promoters, your location benefit, your suitable contracts which you have, your marketing techniques, your salesmanship, etc. But nevertheless, we have to calculate the value of goodwill. We have three methods of calculating value of goodwill. Number one is average profit method. Second is super profit method. And third is capitalization method. So first is average profit method. Average profit method. Average profit method. In this method, they will give you profits of last four years, five years, it can be even three years. So we find an average of those profits and we multiply the number of purchase. Suppose they give you profit of last four years. Last four years. That is 21, 22, 20, 21, 19, 20, 18, 19. So here they give you 10,000. Here they give you 18,000. Here they give you 12,000. And here they give you 20,000. So we have profits of last four years. We find an average of these profits. Average of these profits will be 20. 30, 50, 50 and 10, 60,000. 60,000 divided by 4. That is 15,000 rupees is the average profit. We have average profit of rupees 15,000. Now, we multiply this 15,000 by the number of years of purchase. So, average profits, average profits into number of years of purchase, into number of years of purchase. Now, what is this number of years of purchase? See, you can never have profits for an indefinite period of time. And when a partner is admitted, he will definitely ask you for how many years you are going to give me these profits. So that is what is known as number of years of purchase. Suppose the number of years of purchase they say is three years. Three years. So your value of goodwill will be 15,000 into three. That is rupees 45,000. <coughs> now students be very clear. <clears throat> Though this is a method of calculating goodwill. But this is not a very scientific method. Because I told you in my last class, goodwill arises because of super profits. Any business which earns super profits will have goodwill. Now, what are average profits? Average profits, these are your last year's profits. Now, it could be possible that you are earning 10,000. That could be more than the normal profit. Or it can be even equal to normal profit. It can be less than the normal profit. Suppose all these profits are equal to normal profit, then there is no goodwill. If they are less than the normal profits, then also there is no goodwill. If they are more than the normal profits, then only goodwill arises. So average profit method into number of years of purchase is not a good method. Be very clear in your minds. This is not scientific. We calculate goodwill, that's fine. But try to understand what I am trying to say. 
So an improvement of this method is super profit method. Improvement of this method is super profit method. Now I will explain you the second method known as super profit method. In super profit, in super profit, the formula is super profit into number of years of purchase. Super profit into number of years of purchase. Now, this makes sense. Why? Because nobody can earn super profits for an indefinite period of time. So that means number of years of purchase means that is the number of years for which a business is going to earn super profits. So how do we calculate super profits? Actual profits, actual profits minus normal profits minus normal profits is equal to super profits. So we have to calculate super profit first and then we multiply by the number of years of purchase. Suppose the actual profits the actual profits as we calculated, actual profits is, is suppose 70,000 rupees and normal profits is 50,000 rupees. So your super profits is 20,000 rupees and number of years of purchase is suppose 3 years. This is the value of goodwill which you calculate is 60,000 rupees. Now this is based on super profits. So how do we calculate normal profits? How do we calculate normal profits? Normal profits is calculated by capital employed, capital employed into normal rate of return, into normal rate of return, normal rate of return. Suppose capital employed was 5 lakhs, rupees 5 lakhs. And normal rate of return was 10%. So we get normal profit is 5 lakhs into 10% that is 50,000 rupees. This is your normal profit. Your actual profits had been 70,000. So you earn a profit of super profit that is 20,000. We multiply by the number of years of purchase that is 60,000. This is the most appropriate method of calculating goodwill. As I told you, we can never have the exact value of goodwill. But by this method, we will get the closest value of goodwill. Understood? Now I come down to capitalization method. Capitalization method. Capitalization method. This method, again, is not very good because it assumes that you will have super profits for an indefinite period of time. Whereas nobody can earn super profits for an indefinite period. So in this method, what we do? We take the super profits. We had super profits of how much? We had super profits of rupees 20,000. And what is the normal rate of return? Normal rate of return is 10%. We capitalize this by 100 divided by 10. So this value will come to 2 lakhs. This is the value of goodwill. In this case, we got the value of goodwill how much? 60,000. Here we are getting the value of goodwill as rupees 2 lakhs. In capitalization method, we will always get much, much higher value of goodwill. So, understand what I am trying to say, you have to be very sharp, you have to be very clear. So these are the three broad methods in which, by which we calculate goodwill. The first is the average profit method, the second is the super profit method and the third is capitalization method. Now of, of the books, suppose you are advising anybody. Suppose A and B are two partners admitting C and they refer to you how to calculate value of goodwill. Now you will ask A and B whether you have super profits. A and B says no, we don't have super profits. So if A and B are not having super profits, 
then you can advise them the profit, uh, the average profit method. If they are having super profits method, then in order to calculate reasonable value of goodwill, you can suggest them super profit into number of years of purchase. And suppose A and B are very optimistic that they will always earn super profits, then you can suggest them capitalization method. So that these are three methods, go through them. Again, I will come back with more lectures, more videos on different topics. Thank you. God bless.